Master Cato. Prince Reveal's plane should be landing about now. If he gets there before we do, he's a dead man. I won't need you anymore tonight, Thomas. Oh, Miss Prescott. Good evening, Mr. Barkery. His Highness will be overjoyed to find you here, to meet him. His plane just landed. We should confer soon about the arrangements for the wedding. Yes, yes, we should. I know His Highness will be pleased that you are agreeable for the ceremony taking place in the consulate. I'd be delighted to be married on the steps of City Hall by a justice of the peace, if that's what Raphael wanted. But it is true. You're more beautiful than ever. <laughs> Another challenge for the Green Hornet. His aide, Cato, and their rolling arsenal, the Black Beauty. On police records, a wanted criminal, the Green Hornet is really Britt Reed, owner publisher of the Daily Sentinel. His dual identity known only to his secretary and to the district attorney. And now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet. on my life? That's right, Your Highness. How do you know, Mr. Reed? I received an anonymous phone call last night. Before I could call the police, I learned that the Green Hornet had disposed of the threat. But why? Why would this, this Green Hornet bother to save my life? From what I've been told, he's a notorious criminal. Well, that's true, Your Highness. I have no idea what his motive was. I have political enemies, of course. What head of state doesn't? But even if the incident at the airport last night involved an assassination attempt, I'm perfectly safe here in the consulate. I'm not so sure. There is a reception here tonight, in your honor. But Mr. Reed, attendance is by invitation only. Invitations have been known to fall into the wrong hand, Mr. Bakia. Your Highness, I'd like your permission to post a strong police guard around the consulate grounds tonight. Well, I see no objection to that. Do you, Bakir? As long as the police do not come on the consulate ground. This is a Kaharan territory as much as the capital of Kahara itself, and must be respected as such. I understand that, Mr. Bakir. Well, then, it is settled. I wish to thank you, gentlemen, for your concern over my safety. Jeannette has mentioned you, Mr. Reed. 
Your families are all friends, I understand. That's right. I will look forward to seeing you at the reception this evening. And you too, Mr. Scanlon. Thank you. Be careful, Your Highness. I will. When a man is going to marry a girl as wonderful as my fiancé, he has a great deal to live for. See you tonight. Bye. Bye. Excuse me, miss. You're wanted on the telephone. I was told to say it was urgent. Urgent? You can take it in the library, miss. Thank you. Will you excuse me, darling? Thank you. Hello? 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 Good evening, Your Highness. Ah, Mr. Reed, good to see you again. Good to see you. Mr. Bakir, how do you do? Colonel Sarajak, good evening. Good evening. Mr. Reed, Jeanette has been called to the telephone. Let's find her and have a nice quiet drink, just the three of us. Good idea. Darling, I... That's strange. I wonder where she is. What is that odor? Chloroform. Something has happened to Jeanette. Has Mr. Scanlon arrived yet? Yes? Speaking. Excuse me, Frank. Wait, wait. Excuse me. What is it? Trouble. Yes. Yes, I understand. Jeanette has been kidnapped. Kidnapped? And unless I return to Kahara and announce my abdication within 48 hours, she will be killed. Sarajek. Hi, Miss. How soon can my plane be ready to take off for Kahara? To take off for Kahara. But, Your Highness, I don't understand. How soon? A couple of hours. Then see to it. Don't give in to that demand, Your Highness. What are you talking about? I have to. Jeanette's life is at stake. But I don't think returning to Kahara and abdicating your throne is going to save her. Men vicious enough to do a thing like this to force you out of power wouldn't hesitate to kill her once they've got what they want. Mr. Scanlon. They won't harm her as long as they need her to bargain with. Time is on your side, not theirs. Make them wait. Give the police a chance. They'll find out who's holding Janet and where. No, Mr. Scanlon, I'm sorry. Maybe you're right, but what if you're wrong? I cannot risk that. My throne means nothing to me compared to Jeanette's life. Have the plane ready in two hours. Your Highness. I've got to stop him, Frank. Oh, you've done as much as you can. No. Not quite. Let's roll.
the meaning of this? You've been kidnapped, technically. I don't understand. Last night you saved my life, or so I'm told. And tonight, this. It's simple, Your Highness. I couldn't let you deprive me of the opportunity to make $25,000. Is that the ransom you're asking for me? No. That's the price for the rescue of Janet Prescott. The rescue of Janet? That's right. If the price is too high... I'm only interested in Jeanette's safety. How can you free her? Do you know where she's being held? I think I do. Where? I'd rather not say. If I'm right, it's going to take a lot of planning to rescue her without risking her life. Meanwhile, you'll have to remain here as our guest. For how long? Until tomorrow night. That may be too late. Let's hope not, Your Highness. If it is, we're too late already. If there's anything you want, just ring. You've gone too far this time, Britt. You know that Prince Raphael is, a, is the head of a foreign government? Calm down, Frank. Oh, calm down, calm down. Can you think of the international repercussions once this gets out? It's not going to get out. How can you be sure? Why did you do it? It's the only way I could think of to save Janet Prescott. I don't get the connection. Frank, there were 25 policemen on guard outside the consulate last night. Haven't you wondered how the kidnappers got her out without somebody seeing something suspicious? Well? They didn't take her outside the consulate. After they chloroformed her, they took her somewhere inside the consulate. Are you suggesting that Abu Bakir and Colonel Sarajak are behind Janet Prescott's kidnapping? Yes, I am. I've already contacted them. The Green Hornet has an appointment with them tonight. Oh? To collect a prince's ransom. Where are you taking me? To find Miss Prescott. I need your help. Will you give it to me? Do I have a choice? Not if you want to see Miss Prescott alive again. Then you have my answer. Good. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Is that the money? This is the way I like to do business. Quickly and to the point. When do we get him? I told you on the telephone. Within an hour after the payment of the ransom money. As soon as I'm clear of these embassy grounds, I'll tell you where you can find His Highness. Thank you, gentlemen. Me the main gate. This is Colonel Sarajek. The Green Hornet has just left. Make certain he is in his car when it leaves. But why? Simply because I do not trust him. I read you. I'm inside the consulate. Second floor bedroom. I'll keep in touch. Right. No, wait. Let me have that. This is Rafael. I just thought of something. 
and going over the plans for the reception, Bakir mentioned a wine cellar. Wine cellar? Would that be a likely place? Very likely. I don't know, Your Excellency. Well, find out. The basement. What are you doing here? Looking for you. You all right? Yes. Let's go. Right there. That won't hold for long. I found her. We're trapped in the wine cellar. Okay, we on the way. Let's see if we can find a way out of here. Where is he? He's back in there in the wine cellar. There are cars in the back. The keys are in them. Take one. Get out of here and call the police. Now, well, Mr. Hornet, we'll see who you really are. My friend. Thank you, Your Highness. The police. Hadn't you better go? Right. Oh, wait. The $25,000 I owe you. Forget it, Your Highness. Consider that a wedding present. The Green Hornet is somewhat of a romanticist. Ladies 
and gentlemen, a toast to a beautiful bride. And to a handsome bridegroom. Careful, Miss Case. He's a married man. With my entire staff under arrest, I wouldn't have been if you hadn't volunteered to be my best man. My pleasure, Your Highness. There is only one thing I could wish for on this happiest day of my life. What's that? That after what he did for me, the Green Hornet could be here. Well, maybe he is. In spirit, I mean. <laughs>